was one of the most misunderstood men ever lived. Born and raised by the streets of Macon, Georgia, Jamel stood his ground and didn't take any pushovers from no one. Jamez was intimidating. One quick look at him and you're dropping your eyes in fear. He was misunderstood. Jamel didn't care to share with others. He only thought of himself. He was not a gentleman. Jamel was hardcore. He didn't play any games. Jamel didn't cry. He thought crying was for girls. Jamel was very disrespectful at times that drew tears to my mother's eyes. His passionate level was very low. He would, you would think even on his deathbed, he would change for the best. But it seemed to get worse. Jamel outlived his death expected date to tell his care providers that they're not doing their job. His attitude was so bad that had minimal hospital visits to the point where it was just only me. So what do you think about Jamel? I don't, to tell you the truth, I honestly felt Jamel was a self-centered jerk that didn't care to live or die. But that all changed when I see when I see him cry. One morning entering the hospital room, this hardcore, very manipulative man asked me to rub his legs to, to relieve his pain. As I as I continue, as I started to rub, tears began to fill his eyes. Suddenly the jerk disappeared. I began to see a 10 year old kid that wasn't exposed to love and affection. And now this grown man is in need of that affection. Jamel continued to disrespect the nurses, but after that cry, he would look in my eyes and know he needed to change. As I stayed the night with him, we would have long talks and indirectly he would tell me how much he loved me and cared for his family and friends. I wouldn't say a word, only listen. He began to tell me his true feelings about life, his wish on how he wished he would have completed high school and gotten a better education, how he hated to disrespect his mother and wish she would come to visit him more. I now see a kind, loving man that asking for forgiveness. But during my brother Jamel's last hours, he was surrounded by the very people he hurt and put down. We all forgave him, and he was able to accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. But now, how do you feel about Jamel? Was he misunderstood? Or is he a saved 